let's talk about the strategy. Make 10, then add the rest. As you can see, we're going to do some deconstructing of numbers. So this is a little bit more advanced, and this is one of the last skills that I like to teach, or last strategies I teach with addition. So let's have a look here. For example, if I have six plus nine, I can choose to make 10 and then add the rest. So I always fill the 10 frame that is closest to full. That would be this one. Nine is a larger number. This 10 frame is closer to full. Six is a smaller number. This 10 frame has more empty places. So I want to fill this 10 frame. To do that, I need to deconstruct this group of six and make it into five and one. I'm going to put the one here, making a group of 10. And now I have 10 plus five equals 15. Let's have a look at it the other way by filling in the less full 10 frames first. You're definitely going to have somebody that says, well, why do we do the one that's closest to full? And here's the answer. It's quicker. So if I do it the other way around, let's say that I decide I've got six here. I need four more. I'm going to deconstruct the number nine and take four of these from there, making it a group of five and another group of four. Then I'm gonna add my group of four to my group of six, making a group of 10, and I've still got five ones left over. I get the same answer either way. My question for a student asking why we do it, why we fill this 10 frame first would be, is it easier to take away one from the group of six, or is it easier to think about nine, take away four? And for most students, it's very clear that taking away a smaller number, counting back only one place or two places is going to be easier and quicker than counting back multiple places. So then let's have a look at this with our chart. In this example, we've got seven plus five. I'm going to deconstruct that. I'm going to take this number five and split it into two and three. The three gets added to the seven to make a group of 10. So here we have seven plus five, blue plus green, equals seven plus three plus two more. Now I'm gonna think about these three and the seven making a group of 10. So I also have 10 and two, and that of course is 12. And that's one way that our students can solve that problem. It's going to be quicker than counting on from seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I hope you find that really helpful. Have a great day.